Hello and welcome to VideoGameSkins.com. I'm Suzanne and this is Peppy Bird, the company mascot. We're going to demonstrate today how to put a skin on a brand new Dell Mini 10 netbook. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process so that your skin goes on perfectly. The first step to installing a skin on any item is cleaning because as you can see there are fingerprints all over this netbook. Fingerprints contain oil and would stop any skin from sticking and adhering to the product properly. Ordinary soft cloth and rubbing alcohol is all you need to clean most items. Just get it wet with some alcohol. Rub it gently, you don't have to scrub the heck out of it. Sure you get all the oil and grease off of it. Any dirt or marks. And then just buff it dry with the same soft cloth. And it's all nice and clean. Now you're ready to install your skin. Now that our netbook is clean, we're ready to install the skin. As you know from our website, we have many different designs available for netbooks and laptops. We have today decided only to do a white skin as the contrast with a black computer will make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Since this is a Dell netbook, we have custom cut the skin so that the Dell logo is visible. The Dell netbook or laptop skin has a center portion cut out by the computer so that it will fit around the Dell logo on the lid of the computer. The first step in installing this skin is to remove the center piece. Um, you can use an X-Acto knife, but most people may not have an X-Acto knife, so you can use a push pin, a needle, or a straight pin. I'm going to use a push pin because it gives me something to grab onto. To remove the center piece from the skin for the Dell netbook or laptop, take your sharp point, put it near the edge of the center piece, and you can peel it up. Now you're ready to peel the backing from the skin. Turn it upside down, get a corner started, hold one corner with your finger and very carefully remove the skin from the backing. Now the skin is laying face down on your table and your backing paper is removed. I'm going to cut some of the backing paper to stick back onto the skin that's going to help me line it up onto the netbook so that I get a perfect fit. I'm just going to lay it right over top. I'm going to cut some for the other side. Now I still have my cutout hole showing, but I'm going to be able to install it properly on the netbook. Now we've done all the preparation, we're ready to install the skin on the laptop. You can see where the cutout is, so you just sort of put it over top, line it up, Make sure that our corners are square to the laptop, and then you very gently push down with your finger. This is going to start it adhering to the laptop. I have adhered the skin gently around the center hole. Now I fold back, I remove the backing, and I very gently lay it down. It's all stuck perfectly. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. That's it. You've finished installing your skin now on your netbook. Just make sure that it's adhered properly all the way and you're done. Now it's ready to protect your netbook from damage and scratches. Included in your kit from VideoGameSkins.com we also make a skin for the inside keyboard rest around the mouse pad that will protect this part from wear and damage also. Another great feature of a netbook or laptop skin from VideoGameSkins.com is the fact that our skins do not leave residue behind. Even if it's been installed for months, if you want to install a new design, feel free. You just pull the skin off of your device so and there's no sticky residue behind you can feel there's nothing there so you're free to install another 
skin to decorate your computer, your phone, or your video system at any time you wish.